Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mad Trade here, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over the best controller settings to use right now in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. It's gonna help you feel better in the game, shoot better, look better. You know I got you guys. So to see more setups like this, make sure to smash that like button right down below. And guys, subscribe if you're not. It really means a lot to me. I appreciate it. All right, let's get right into it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over all the settings from top to bottom. So if you need to pause the video at any time, but guys, use these settings, okay? I'm telling you, it's gonna feel better. You're gonna shoot better. Everything's gonna be better. I got you guys. So we're gonna hit start. We're gonna go over to the settings tab and let's just start with controller and we're gonna work our way down. So I'm on Xbox Series X next gen. I play on controller. So follow my lead guys. I've tested this. You know how we do around here. So let's do this. So we're gonna make sure we're in the controller tab and we're gonna make sure here we use default default. I like to leave it. Some people change it, I'm telling you. Try this out, let me know what you think. So I'm using sensitivity horizontal vertical 5.5. I feel that works best for me. If you wanna maybe bump it up a little, maybe try horizontal six and leave vertical five or try what maybe feels best for you. Go to the firing range, play a couple games, but I think 5.5 five is a good mix. I would leave it, okay? Simplify controls off, low motor strain off, bumper ping off, leave these all off, okay? Now, controller vibration, guys, definitely turn this off. If you guys leave it on, I have, something's wrong there. I don't know why you would ever put this on. I'm not trying to be shaking around and vibrating all over the place, so turn that off. If we go to more, there's nothing here we need to change. And dead zone inputs, I left it all on default. People say change it. I mean, honestly, if you're having bad stick drift, I would maybe mess around with this. If not, just leave it on default, okay? I don't find it where you're gonna get much more of an advantage or anything by messing with this. I have a newer Xbox Series X Elite controller, so I just left everything, all right? But that's something give and take you might wanna play with, but I left it at default. Uh, next, we're gonna hit the next tab up top. We're gonna go to aiming. So sensitivity multiplier. This is how I had it, guys. So leave these all like this, right? And I'm not gonna really read everything for you, but just make sure you stop the screens here. This is very important for ADS sensitivity multiplier. Put it to 0.85. It's gonna feel better when you're ADSing. Put it on that and leave these all on one, okay? Look inversion on foot, I left standard. Aiming advanced setting, I'm gonna click this. So this is how I have it, ADS sensitivity, transition timing, instant. Definitely make sure that's instant, guys. It's gonna feel much more snappier. Third person ADS correction type, I left assist. And a big must, 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 we want to do aim response curve type dynamic. It is the best curve type to use in the game. I've tested these all, Warzone, multiplayer, all the Call of Duties, make sure you have dynamic. We're gonna do show more, just so you guys can see all these settings here. Sometimes, you know, you don't see it all, right? But I'm gonna make sure you see every screen, what it looks like. I'll do my best to go through it, there's a lot. But the key takeaways, dynamic, aim response curve type, and you want ADS sensitivity transition instant. Those are non-negotiable. Make sure you put them on, you're gonna feel a lot better, okay? And then obviously target aim assist, we always wanna make sure that's on. Now the next tab, we're gonna go to movement, right? And guys, by doing these setting updates, it's gonna help make the feel, the game's gonna feel so much better, smoother, faster. You're gonna be getting a lot more frag kills. It's gonna be a good opportunity for you guys to go through these screens. I know it takes time, but it's worth it on the back end, right? Cause your overall experience, you're gonna be getting that one up on that average player who doesn't make these changes. 
This is a key one for movement under the movement tab. We want to do sprint assist and we want to make sure that says tactical sprint assist. It's the best one and it's going to give you that feel you're moving much faster. Leave that to tactical sprint assist. We're going to show more. Also sprint assist delay. We must make sure it's always at zero so it's snappier. Sprint assist sideways, sprint assist backward, leave it at on on. Mantle assist, turn that off, we don't need that. And then I would follow this all off, off, off. We'll leave that mantle assist angle tight, all right? Crouch assist, we want off. Don't even bother with that, leave that off. Tactical sprint only, I just left off. Corner slice is a newer setting. This was not in the beta and I leave that on. I do like it. It simulates a corner slice by slightly inclining your weapon and camera when a corner is nearby. I like that effect. Kind of gives you some Rainbow Six vibes. So leave that on. Try it. If you really don't like it, I would turn it off, but it's nothing that's going to hinder you or cause issues. Just leave it on. Now slide dive behavior, I leave it on tap to slide. Some people might recommend hybrid. I feel if you want more of the classic, try to slide cancel, you know, it feels better. I use paddles on my elite controller. I like tap to slide. I feel it's great. And again, you're gonna feel day and night. If you use my settings, it's gonna feel great when you're in the game, okay? Um, next here, we have slide dive activation delay. Can leave it on medium i left that that's a default auto door peak off auto uh airborne mantle we left off sprint restore on slide maintain sprint on parachute behavior off uh, mantle cancels reload we left on uh, let's pull up the movement advanced settings this is how i have it on this um, so make sure you look at this. So plunging underwater, for example, I put it on free. Um, but copy these. Again, I'm not going to read through all of it, but just go through these here. Pause it if you need to, okay? Because there's a lot we got to get through. And I don't want you guys to sit through this the whole time, right? So I'll be quick. And vehicle advanced settings, I just left it as is. And I would try these, okay? So next tab, we're going to go up top. We're going to go to combat. Okay, so aim down sight behavior, we want to put it on hold, okay, that way you press and hold to aim down sight, so that's how we want it, common sense, that's that's the wave, okay. Weapon mount activation, I do ADS plus melee, um, and we see here armor plate behavior, always apply all, whether it's warzone, multiplayer, anything, because you want that animation, pop them all on, right, there's no hesitation. C4 detonation activation, I did all at once. I left that like that. I don't really use C4 like that, but if you had to, make sure you put that setting. Equipment behavior, hold. Manual fire behavior, I left it on press. We'll go to combat advanced settings. This is how I had this. I just left it as is. So if you wanna look at this screen, I didn't touch this, okay? Overlay advanced settings. We'll look at this. So I hit left it on inventory control D-pad and I left moderate, moderate and hold for this, okay? So that's gonna sum it up for the controller side. So now we're gonna hit LT and keyboard and mouse. I left it as is guys. Again, I'm on a controller so we can skip that. Sorry, keyboard and mouse players. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to graphics, okay? And I left the gamma brightness as is. I just left 51. I just left it. Eco mode preset, we left off. I would just leave it off. Quality, very big guys. World motion blur, we want off. Weapon motion blur, off. I left depth of field, off. Fidelity FX cast, I put that on and I put the strength to 100. Okay, so we want to turn all the motion blur. We don't need this. It's going to be more of a distraction. Just it's going to save yourself. Some people say it might even make you feel nauseous, right? And it's going to give you a uh, pretty bad experience, right? Because it's a fast moving game. Just turn that all off. Thank me later. Okay, on demand texture streaming. I left it on optimize. 
and I'll show you the more tab again. I'm gonna try to be detailed, show you all these screens, not just show you a little and bypass it, right? Because we're real around here. We wanna make sure you have the best settings to help you day to day when you play. Next, we're gonna go to the view tab. Again, motion reduction preset. I left that off. Field of view, everyone. Important, right? This is gonna make sure how you feel. Visual recoil, it, it's so many factors tied into field of view, right? I've tested all of these throughout all the years and I would definitely recommend 110. Okay, this is something you can personally play with, but I feel this is the best mix helping reduction of visual recoil, the way it feels. Try it out, guys. Again, thank me later. I'm telling you, game changer. Do 110 field of view. ADS field of view, we always wanna make sure it's on affected, okay? So make sure you apply that affected. It's the way it feels, you want that on, okay? Weapon field of view, we wanna make sure it's always on wide, okay? It's gonna look smaller, it's gonna help. We wanna do wide. Third person field of view, I left it on 90. Vehicle field of view, I left it on wide. And we're getting to another key one here for camera, right? You wanna feel better, it wants to look better. You wanna make sure first person camera movement is on least 50%, change that immediately. Third person camera movement, least 50% and I had third person ADS transition, I left that, and then inverted flashbang, it's your preference, I just left it off, okay? But there's some very important keys in here, make sure you, you pause it, try these out. Next, we're gonna go to audio, and I left it pretty much as is, few changes here, okay? So master game volume, I just left it at 90, Audio mix, I went back and forth here. There was some sucker punch, there's a couple of these. I like headphones, I feel they were really good. I could still hear. Um, they do have now pay to hear option, which you have to pay. Guys, I would skip this, I, I just don't recommend it. I feel it's not a necessity to pay to have pay to hearing, right? I, I feel like it's good enough, you do not need that, okay? So I would try that. And also we had mute license music off. I just left these pretty standard, reduce um, that. So I left that on and then hit marker preset classic, okay? Um, next for voice chat, again, this is all preference for you. This is just how I had it. I'm not gonna read through this all. I'll just let you see it, but that's just personally how I had it, okay? Uh, now interface, this is a pretty big one here too. So you can really customize it. I mean, you could skip kill cam and things like that. I don't know why you would do that, but you wanna make sure visual support preset I left off, menu prompts automatic, gameplay tips, we don't need all this, just turn it all off. There's no point. And you wanna have kill cam, so I'm not sure why that's even there. And then we have server latency and things like that. I just leave it off, okay? Readability. Uh, again, subtitles all off. I don't need this. So I just made sure that's all off. And what we did was here, a big thing coming up is color customization. Huge, guys. So we're gonna click this. So I was telling some people here, just going throughout Warzone especially, you can change the way the colors look on certain things, right? I left it on default, but it is something to explore later if you feel maybe you want to change the enemy colors or maybe it helps you see better. But for me personally, I like the classic, I left it, but this is always something to dabble in later, okay? You could change like your squad member colors, things like that, right? I left it all default, but the big key is color filter settings. You want this game to look vibrant, bright. You want it to look good on your 4K, 8K monitor, TVs, right? It wants to look good. You want that experience without hindering your performance, right? So the color filter settings, very important. I've tested this for years. Please make sure you follow this. And I'm telling you, day and night, it's gonna look better, feel better. You're gonna be playing better. I got you guys. So color filter, we want to use filter number two. It is the best color filter in the game. Visually appealing, you're going to see better. Filter two on. 
color filter target, we want both. Make sure you have it on both. Now, world color intensity, interface color intensity, max it 100%, okay? Play a few games, get used to it, take it all in, all the colors and brightness, and it's gonna look like a completely different game, all right? Huge. And we're almost done, guys. Gameplay HUD. Now, this is something you could change, your safe area, things like that. I left it all on default, all right? HUD preset, I don't need to be changing it. I left the classic, right? Some big things here, not only in Black Ops 6 multiplayer and all this, but in Warzone especially, turn your minimap shape to square. You get more map coverage on that top. You can see what's happening a little better. Turn it to square. Mini map rotation, I left on. Uh, radar, I left off. Compass type, we have mini map. Vehicle HUD prompts, fade after 10 seconds. And as you see here, cross here, I left on. And, you know, there's really no benefit to turn it off, right? So I left this as is. I did not touch this. You could change the color of the cross here, all that. I left it default. I didn't want to mess with that. Uh, hit marker visuals on damage hit marker obviously we want on and then widget visibility i left that all max 100 okay so so far so good we went through a lot guys and then of course we have you know settings like that and whatnot okay for privacy and whatnot okay so that's it guys these are the settings here then you can go to your quick settings go through it as well um this is how it looks but that was pretty detailed i went through a lot of it I hope this helps you guys with these settings. It's gonna feel better. You're gonna game better. Let me know how you guys felt with these settings or if you have any other suggestions you tried. Let me know in the comments. But guys, if you stayed this long, please make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe, it's free. And also I'm on Twitch, guys. If you have Amazon Prime, you get a free monthly subscription. It costs nothing and I would greatly appreciate it. It really helps the channel. I do post new videos weekly and I do stream on YouTube. YouTube and Twitch, all right? But take it easy, guys. Try these settings. Enjoy. Woo!